Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds, and peace and blessing be upon His last messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his companions, and those who follow the right path. Dear viewers, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and His grace. Welcome again to Understanding Islam Ramadan. Dear beloved viewers, there is a beautiful night picture about Ramadan that is repeated daily. Each night in Ramadan, Muslims gather in masjids and, or mosques uh, to perform congregational special long prayers. What are these prayers? What is so special about them? How often are they performed? How many sits are prayed and for how long? And why do some Muslims pray more or less than others? These are some of the points we will discuss in today's episode. Dear viewers, Allah Almighty described the believers with many beautiful descriptions, one of which is that they forsake their comfy beds to stand up in the night in prayers and humbleness. In Ramadan, these long night prayers are called Salat al-Taraweeh. The name Taraweeh is specific to the night prayers in Ramadan. It comes from Tarweeha or refreshment and relief because in the beginning it was so long that they used to relax a little between each set of two raka. The prayer of Taraweeh has another name. It is also called Qiyam Ramadan or standing in prayer in Ramadan. Dear viewers, these Taraweeh prayers are not obligatory but a recommended sunnah or tradition of the Messenger peace be upon him. It is sunnah for both men and woman. The Messenger, peace be upon him, encouraged Muslims to perform extra prayers in the night throughout the year, and especially so in Ramadan. As for the practice of the Messenger, peace be upon him, he used to perform these long night prayers each and every night of the year. And if he was not feeling well, he, peace be upon him, used to perform it while sitting. Dear viewers, Muslims used to perform these taraweeh and night prayers individually and in groups. The Prophet, peace be upon him, led the Muslims in congregational taraweeh for some nights, but not regularly every night, for fear that it might become obligatory upon them and it will be a great hardship for many people. Dear viewers, the time for taraweeh or night prayers starts after Isha, the final obligatory prayer in the night. And the time continues till Fajr or the true dawn. So one can perform it at any time that suits him during this period between these two times. However, the best time for this prayer is very late at night if one can. Dear viewers, Taraweeh can be prayed in congregations and individually. It can also be performed at home or in the masjid. And although it is allowed to perform it alone or at home, it is better to perform it in the jama'ah or congregation and in the masjid to gain more rewards from Allah Almighty. This is especially important for those who have not memorized the Holy Quran or do not know how to recite it correctly so that they can listen to the Holy Quran being recited correctly by the Imam. As for those who memorize the Holy Quran, they can pray alone to recite and review the Holy Quran themselves. Generally, praying in the masjid is better nowadays, as one may become busy or lazy at home and might forget about these prayers and lose their great rewards. There is another reason why it is better to perform it in the masjid, to get the same rewards of spending the full night in prayers. As the messenger, peace be upon him, said, whoever stands in prayer with the imam till he leaves, he will get rewards of spending the whole night in prayers. So try not to leave the masjid before the imam, but wait till after the imam leaves. You do not want to miss this great chance to gain more rewards every night, inshallah. Dear viewers, it's time now for a quick break, but we still have more to come. 
May Allah guide us and grant us the rewards for our taraweeh and our worship, inshallah. See you soon. Welcome back to Understanding Islam Ramadan. We have been discussing the benefits and details behind taraweeh or qiyam, the daily sunnah of the night that we should all embrace. Dear viewers, there is no specific number for the rak'ah in taraweeh. However, the minimum is two rak'ah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, didn't specify any number. But he said that the night salah is two and two, that is, sits of two rak'ah each. The night salah, or prayer of the Prophet, peace be upon him, himself, was seven, eight, nine, or eleven very long rak'ah. But mostly, he, peace be upon him, prayed eight rak'ah, followed by three witr throughout the year. Nowadays, most Muslims perform 20 rak'ah, following the majority of scholars. And as far as the number is concerned, it is an easy and relaxed matter. Muslims have prayed 8, 11, 13, 20, 36, and even more rak'ah. All of these numbers were actually performed by the Sahaba, Ridwanullahi and the Salaf, or early Muslims. So there is a wide ground for competition, and we can perform any of these numbers. Actually, if you are going to recite the same amount from the Holy Quran, praying more rak'ah is easier than praying less rak'ah. There will be more frequent movements and shorter standing times, which will be less tiring. There is absolutely no harm in praying 8 or 20 rak'ah. Generally, it is up to the Imam and the worshippers in the masjid to decide how much they want to recite and how much they can pray. If the Imam feels that the worshippers cannot endure long recitation with a fewer number of rak'ah, he can increase the number of rak'ah and reduce the portion of recitation in each rak'ah. Dear viewers, there is another nighttime prayer called Tahajjud, which is usually prayed in congregations in the masjid during Ramadan. It is a sunnah prayer as well, that is usually prayed quite late at night, especially in the last 10 days of Ramadan, and finishes around the start of psalm or fasting, with very little time enough for taking suhoor or the uh, pre-fasting light meal. When compared together, tahajjud, or the very late night salah, is better than the taraweeh, or the salah at the beginning of the night. This is based on a narration of the famous companion, Umar an, who said about those who prayed in the beginning of the night and didn't wake up for the late night tahajjud, he said, the one salah they slipped over and missed is better than the one they are performing. Dear viewers, performing tahajjud after sleep is better than performing it without sleeping. This is the sunnah and tradition of the messenger, peace be upon him. So it is better to take a rest for a while in the night than wake up to perform tahajjud. This is based on a narration of the companion, Al-Hajjaj bin Amr, عن, who said, does one of you think that if he stood the whole night praying that he performed tahajjud? Rather, tahajjud is the salah after sleep, then the salah after sleep, then the salah after sleep. That was the salah of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. Dear viewers, there are great rewards for taraweeh and night prayers. Just like fasting, standing at night in a prayer and humbleness grants you mercy and forgiveness from Allah Almighty. The Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Whoever stands praying in the night of Ramadan out of sincere faith and hoping to attain Allah's reward, then all his past sins will be forgiven. We should endeavor to seize these daily great opportunity to gain more rewards and forgiveness, inshallah. This is easier in Ramadan than any other time. Each one of us wakes up very late at night for suhoor or pre-fast meal, 
which also happens to be the best time of the night for the Hajjud and night prayer. Let us seize this easy opportunity by performing at least two rak'ah of night prayer before it is Fajr time. How could anyone afford to waste such opportunity and lose such great rewards with an ab or out of neglect? Dear viewers, we supplicate to Allah Almighty to help us observe these important Sunnah prayers in Ramadan out of sincere faith and hoping to attain His rewards and to forgive all our past sins and grant us success in this great month and make us good for ourselves and everyone around us. Amin. See you again tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and His grace.